Are we live? I think we're live. <laughs> Hi guys! Alright, we are live. I thought to go live today because I have here hope and love and oh what happened? And we wanted to like go out flying, but it's raining outside, so now we have to stay in the house and hope doesn't get to fly. Alright, so if you have read the title, I was fortunate enough to go yesterday to a pre-advanced screening of The Hidden World, How to Train Your Dragon. And I just want to talk about that movie today here live with you. Alright, here is love and here is hope. My two little baby, my baby dragons. <laughs> hey guys, hey, 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 there you guys all are. Beautiful CVPs, welcome, welcome. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Caroline and I am a bird trainer. And I can call them actually my dragons because they are like dragons. They are actually modern dragons. This is my Catalina Maca Hope, he's two years old. And this is my baby Hyacinth Maca. He is six months old. Oh, love you so much. And guys, look, his beak is healing really nice. <laughs> he can fly. He can fly. Alrighty, so I did some notes um, to talk about that, that movie. Here, here's my notes. Um, so, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Love just landed on my camera. Oh my gosh, Love, don't do that. I'm talking to, to our CVPs on YouTube. Oh, now our camera is like, kind of like, like a little screwed up. Love, please don't do that. Okay, he is so heavy, guys. Now it doesn't stay in spot anymore. How can I do another review, lovey boy? <laughs> He's so happy he wants to kiss me. Love. I know. Guys, I can't I can't adjust not anymore the camera. He basically landed full on on the camera. Okay, let me try something else. I have to twist it around this way. Okay. To, to make a review with birds, it's not easy. Okay, these are modern dragons, guys. I have modern dragons. Come on, babies. All right, there they are. Okay, now it's a little crooked. Is it crooked? Yes, it's crooked. Okay, is this straight? All right, this is live. This is live, guys, so I can't edit anything out. Okay, so let's talk about the movie. Mwah! Okay, if you have seen How to Train My Dragon 1, I saw that movie, I totally love it. It was great, there was like a whole world um, where humans and dragons didn't get along, but because there's one guy, his name is Hiccup, he kinda found this night fairy dragon, which I kinda see it like love is a night fairy. He kinda looks like a night fairy, right? My little love. And what happened is he combined the dragons and humans live together, like us. Birds and humans coexist together. That's what I'm doing here. So um, the hidden world is kind of like the third and the last episode of uh, How to Train Your Dragons. And I got to see it yesterday here in Los Angeles as a pre-advanced screening. And it was amazing. I love it so much. It was so beautiful, made. The story was amazing. The visual was amazing. And this, the whole time I was like really on top of my feet, just wanted to know what's next. Aw, love is having his baby birdie hiccup. Baby, you wanna talk too? I know you wanna talk. Okay, so let's get into the story. Okay, and also this is spoiler alert. So spoiler alert means I'm gonna tell you the story, but I'm not gonna reveal the end. You have to go watch it yourself because it's really, really fun. Okay, so Hiccup and Night Fury, um, they have this whole like utopia thing in, um, in the place where they live with all the Vikings and they go and save other dragons and they collect dragons, kind of like hoarding dragons. Like there's some people who are hoarding birds, but I'm not one of them. 
I just have six birds, but they are hunting dragons. Like the whole like village is full of dragons, and dragons and humans coexist. And it's really very colorful and awesome. And it's just this beautiful picture where dragons fly around and humans are doing their thing, and they just coexist. And the movie starts with um, Hiccup and his gang going in to save some captured dragons. And those dragons. They um, set them free and bring them all back to their village. And once they are in the village, the dragons are really happy. Now, when they capture all the dragons, they just forgot one dragon. And that's the new dragon, the Night Fury, who's all white. Like, Toothless is all black, and he's the only Night Fury left over. But this Light Fury is all white. So it's like white and black, which is really nice. So somehow they forgot to like release that light fury <laughs> and and then in the evil camp there's like an evil guy who's kind of like killing all the dragons and he killed all the night fairies so Toothless was the only night fairy he didn't kill and he wanted to kill the night fairy and when he noticed that there's one more night fairy left he was on a quest to kill it and he was really good because he is the villain and he he kind of controls the dragon by dra dra drugging, like kind of like poisoning the dragon's mind. So that's how he trained the bad dragons to follow him. And it was very interesting to see how, you know, Hiccup and the good people, they kind of love the dragons and they kind of like have the dragons come and serve them like with love. And the bad guy forced those dragons to serve him through, uh, drugs and poisoning their mind so it's, it's really interesting to see because um you know my whole thing is like training parrots how to train your parrot to free fly and my thing is like if i let lo love or hope go they come back to me out of love i don't do anything to them for them to starve or to like uh be poisoned or like compromise so they always want to come back to me because we are bonded and it's love it's like kind of like a love relationship you guys are still there no, nobody. Hello. Any questions? Ah, there. Any other questions? Yes, Abby. You guys, is this interesting for you to hear about the whole review about the how to <laughs> train your dragon? So the new movie is coming out this coming Friday, and yay! Hey, you guys are listening. Yeah, cool. Hi, Mike. Of course. Okay, cool, cool. Cool to hear that. <laughs> Greetings from Mexico. Hi, Kevin Brandon. Shout out to Mexico. Hey, Mirko. Mirko is back in the house. Sandra, hi. Nice to meet you. Abby, hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Where is Glory? Glory is in the other room. She is like hanging out in the other room. Um, hey Caroline, cool, okay, <laughs> nice to see that you guys are there. So, um, first thing first, I really enjoy that movie because it was like, you know, how to train your dragons, kind of like how to train your parrot, but like dragons are more than parrots, that's what I see them as. And they are so cute because they kind of remind me like how they animate those dragons, uh, especially Toothless. It kind of reminds me like a dog pet slash bird. It's really, really cute. He has all the characteristics of a bird slash dog. Oh, look at what Hope is doing. Hope is like curing himself. He's kind of like cleaning his uh, tail feather. Right, Hope? Look at how calm Hope is. Hope is such a good boy. He's such a good boy, Hopey. And love is having his baby hiccups. Yeah, so what I really liked about this movie was um, that this light furry and the black night furry, so Toothless and uh, the light furry came together and the light furry showed Toothless, who was kind of like a pet of, um, of, of Hiccup, his real true potential. And um, the Night Fury is kind of like the alpha of all dragons. So all dragons kind of listen to him. Like this little guy here. Love, I feel like Love because he's a high sit maca. He's kind of the cream de la cream of all parrots. Right? You are. Mm. So, and that's what the Night Fury was. He was like the, the cream de la cream, the, 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 uh, the king of all dragons. 
and all dragons would listen to him because he had like power and he is just like the unexceptional dragon whatsoever. Um, and once they went into the hidden world, there was a whole world full of hidden dragons. And it was just so nice to see that all dragons came and bowed down to like uh, two hours, the night fairy. And um, yeah, and, and that this white dragon kind of bring him into his true potential because they kind of like, um, she kind of like completed him or something and he kind of like found his true calling and his destiny. So it was a really awesome movie guys. You have to go look at it. It comes out this Friday. I highly recommend it if you like animals. I know it's not just a kids movie but I just like to see it because it's like flying dragons and also what I really like about it it's like all dragons can fly. All birds can fly. And did you ever notice that in the Disney movies all birds or eagles or oils they always are fully flighted okay there is a i posted the days ago getting slimed <laughs> okay that's funny um leave glory now with our screaming yeah glory is now she's more quiet she's not too intense anymore which is nice because you know she's in the other room but glory's happy um i will pose a video probably by Friday <laughs> how glory will be flying so this will be really exciting for you because this video is kind of like a cute video where I just went on adventure with glory and we just like have so much fun oh this is a toy for little love love check this out this is kind of like a baby toy do you want to play with it you do <laughs> Doesn't he look like a little puppy? Oh. Oh, I think that's Glory. Glory just dumped her football and she's screaming. I don't know if you can hear her. Oh, puppy, don't, don't, don't break my, my Joby stick. Oh, there she is. She's hearing us and she's now screaming. Mm. You guys want me to bring Glory? You want to see Glory? What is he doing? He's just like doing stuff. So, yes, how's my book coming along? So my book is coming on really, really good. I am right now on page 70. I hope to be completed by, I, I wanna get like on page 100 or 120, so 50 more pages to go. I'm so excited. My book is really amazing. It will teach you everything I know and how to get started with free flying. All right, Glory is screaming. Let me go grab her. Give me a second. guys so here is glory hi she's hi to you too glory say hi glory love and um, back here is hope hope come on hope come on <laughs> my gosh not easy to juggle all three parrots at once but here they are here is my dragons <laughs> hope love and glory right Right? Right, guys? Did you guys like my kissing video where I kiss with glory, hope, and love all together? They're so calm. I love them. Glory, come here. Kiss. Good girl. Good girl, glory. Come on, glory. Come on, hopey. Yeah. Here they all are. My three my paws. Look at how calm they all are. They are so beautiful. Love them. Alrighty, any other questions? I know they are beautiful. Hope and love, they will get along really well. They are two boys. Glory is a little possessive. Um, she wants to be the boss. My little glory dragon, my hope dragon, and here's my love dragon. He's still a baby. He's just like enjoying the world right now and just doing his baby thing, right? Just doing your little baby thing. 
I can't stop kissing them. Oh, you see, Gloria is kissing me. I love you too, Gloria. So ever since um, the prayer, Glory has had changed. Something happened in her, and she's just so cute and so happy. And you know, she's just, just amazing. We love her. We love her. <laughs> Hi, Hobie. Hi. What do you think of these two hyacinths? Yes, they are like June night furry dragons. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, relax. All right. Any other questions, guys, before before we conclude my review of the hidden world? Um, how to train your dragon? How to train your dragon? Yes, yes, I will be posting more videos of home free flying in the park. As soon as the rain stops, it's been really cold and rainy and windy right now here in California. So as soon as the sun stops and it's nice weather outside again. Cool, my first time seeing you live. That's nice. Mwah. I love them. Hi, Glory. Hi, love. Hi, Glory. Hi, love. Hi, Opie. <laughs> All righty, guys. Um, this was it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review of my <laughs> world. Um, go watch it. It's really filmed. Filmmaking wise, it's really visual, really beautiful. The colors are amazing. The the story is amazing. The jokes are funny. It's oh, there goes Hopi. The jokes are amazing. Um, and um, the, the, there's a really nice twist at the end that I'm not gonna say anything about it. You have to go watch. But the twist is really very interesting, and it's very okay. Not easy to do reviews with birds. Come on, love. Uh, come in. Come on. Come on. Come on, Opie. Come on. Okay. Um, one thing I'm gonna say at the end: there is two weddings, which is so cool at the movie. But you guys have to go watch to see the end of the movie. Of course, there is a happy end and a really nice twist. Beautiful movie. Um, How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World is a must watch. Uh -huh. I'm giving it thumbs up. And yeah, I'm going to have fun now with my six dragons right here, or my three big dragons. Hope, love, hope, love, and glory. Okay, bye, guys. I 